Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. I'm Heather Porter, one of the co-founders of Autopilot Your Business, and here we are on Facebook Audience Insights. I'm going to put up a little URL on your screen right now so you know where to go to check this out. This is an incredible tool to do market research and to get to know your market better. So it's basically when you go into it, you get these three little options right here. You're going to want to do market research, so you're going to want to hit on everyone on Facebook. So go ahead and click that. Now how this area is laid out is you have a filtering area down the left hand side and then you can check out what's going on with the data here on the right. So to get started, the easiest way of using this tool is by locations of where your market is that you want to do business with. So let's say we're doing business in the US and maybe we're doing it in Australia, which is what Autopilot does by the way. <laughs> So for you guys, you can also put even cities. So let's say you were just targeting uh, people in New York. You could look at that too. And then you're going to look at the age and gender. So if your market is very specifically in the retirement age or in the teen age or the 20 something age, this is where you would go ahead and, and filter that. So let's just say for the case, uh, for the sake of this example, we'll do 34 to 45, but you can range that all men or women. You choose that as well. And then from there, the exciting bit is this interest area. So either you can type in individual Facebook pages and you can get to know the market based on a page, or you can type in interests such as yoga, weight loss, business advice, and things like that. So let's go ahead and start with interests. So since I said yoga, let's do yoga. Just hit on enter. So now what's going on is that we're sorting all of Facebook by people that are in Australia, the US, in this age range, men and women, those that like yoga. So we now know that 71% of women are interested in yoga versus 30% of men. So straight away, what are we knowing? We're knowing that if we're in the yoga space, that we're going to be creating content and uh, doing things in our business that are more geared at women. Uh, scrolling down from there as well, you can see some lifestyle factors here. So you have some city mixers. It just tells you what these are, by the way. These are Facebook's little cute terms for things, you know, different market segments. So solo and stable. Just read over these and you'll get to know your market a lot more, right? Um, soccer and SUVs. So you get a lot of good input here. So if you're, again, we're creating content, you could be talking about kids. You could talk, be talking about soccer moms. You could be talking about... Um, these are homeowners, mainly in white collar professional. We have city mixers. You can talk about, um, you know, going out in the city, things like that, right? So you're just getting some ideas here. You can see all from there. Relationship status, educational level, job titles. Look at this. A lot of them are nurses, healthcare, medical management as well. So again, if you were going to be talking to your direct market, then you could really pinpoint women that are in the age range that we looked at here, 34 to 45 that are in management roles that perhaps fit one of these lifestyle segments as well. And then you could just really start there in your business. So this is how you get ideas around interests, general broad interest here on the left hand side. The other thing what's cool about this is you can go into page likes and you can see the top pages in these categories that people are liking that are in the yoga interest space. So in education, they like positive parenting solutions. For chef, they like Chef Pete Evans. Pretty cool, right? You can see all of them from here. And then you can just see the individual page likes down here and get a little bit more data about the audience types. You can do great market research here as well. So you can get ideas of people that are in your space. And you can go to their page by simply just clicking, let's say, positive parenting solutions. And then on this page, we can get loads of ideas about messaging. And how do we do that? We're looking for highly engaged posts. So any posts in here that have a larger number of engagement than others, like this one, parents and the entitlement epidemic, these tips can change behavior, right? So we know topics already. And whenever there's a topic that people like, there could be a product behind that, right? Or a service that your business could offer. So going back in, we can also dive a little deeper into the interests outside of page likes. We can see location, we can see activity of what the, what's actually going on in these types of pages. So we definitely have ads that are being placed, which is great because that means products are behind it, right? We have comments. Um, it just gives you some general information there. And obviously, I go into the household and the purchase information too. You want to make sure that your market has money. 
So now how might you use this, not generally for interests, but for pages? So let's say we're still on yoga, we'll go back to page likes. Let's start to dive into uh, specifically Chef Pete Evans. So if we take that out, copy that, and we're gonna go into here and go ahead and paste. Let's see what comes up. So now we're analyzing all the data specifically on Chef Pete Evans. So we're in the yoga space. Now we've kind of gone a little deeper into food. So now we're gonna get and more specifics on food lifestyle, um, which is quite interesting, and we can go down to pages from there. So that's how you use Facebook Insights, Audience Insights, and you use it again to do sorting on the left by interest or pages. And yes, you can put loads of pages in here to really chunk down. So if we wanna go, um, we can do the raw kitchen, we can do nourished life. Whoops, I didn't hit enter. And each of these will start to go deeper, deeper level with, um, you know, audience personas and we can really get to know our audience. So yes, yeah, so use the left hand side here, get to know your audience, go into some of these pages, see what they're posting. And you're really going to get to see not only what the interests are, but the language of your audience too, by reading the comments that they're leaving on some of these pages. Um, really exciting stuff, you guys. So I love this tool for doing market research and also creating amazing audiences that you can even uh, place ads to on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in. Talk soon. Mm -hmm.